morning. It is still morning, right? It's half past 11. So I have been up and about for the last couple of hours. I have had my breakfast. I've obviously made, done my makeup on. Um, and now I think I'm going to head out of the house for a little bit. I'm going to take these bags to a charity shop. Hoping that they're open today. I'm assuming they will be open today. Uh, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go the opposite way to a supermarket and get some food. Annoying because there's a charity shop and the supermarket are in the complete opposite direction. I'll try and bring you guys along but I don't know how much of it I'll actually film because I'm a bit afraid of filming around people. I think that's everything. Oh, I need to find my phone so I can have music because I can't live without music. Alright, I made it to the um, charity shop. It took me three tries to find a shop. The first one didn't take clothes, the second one was closed. The third one didn't have any space. So the fourth one, the final one, which was actually directed to me by one of the other charity shops, was available. It was right at the other end of the um, high street. So my arms are now aching. But now I'm going to go to Tesco. And I think it's going to be super busy because it's Saturday. So um kind of regretting doing this. But you've got to do what you're going to do. When I'm saying it's busy, it's busy. I am like the furthest place you can park in a car park. The shop is right over there and I'm like right at the other end of the car park. What a pain. Anyway, uh, let's go do a food shopping. It's 10 past 12. I'm hungry. This is probably the worst decision. I've also not got a... I've also not got a... Um, shopping list. So this is going to go well. I'm now home. I never go shopping on a Saturday in the midday. I always go usually on a Sunday like 3 o'clock, an hour before closing because of that particular reason. That was anxiety inducing. I have never felt so anxious going to a shop, well, in over 10 years. Um, that was horrifying. That took me back to my teenage years. I kind of grabbed bits and pieces, but I didn't really go in there with a plan or a shopping list. So I probably will end up going to like a little shop halfway through the week probably to get some other bits and pieces, but uh, I'll go upstairs and show you guys what I've got now. I use. It's not my favourite but I sometimes can't bother to go to pets at home to buy the litter I do like. Um, so I usually use the Catsan Plus non-clumping litter which is unfortunate that Tesco doesn't uh, sell the, non the, the clumping litter. Uh, you've got to do what you're going to do. I bought some new kitchen roll because my oh my I needed some after I used it all yesterday trying to fix my hood thingy. Um, a staple every week, bananas. And some orange juice in that one bag. So that's that one done. And then we've got some sea bass. Uh, some chicken breast mini fillets. I actually wanted the diced chicken, the diced chicken breast, but the um, alley, the aisle even, for buying, the for getting the chicken was overcrowded and I just asked someone to reach over and grab it, um, saying like, I, can you pass me the diced chicken? And they all gave me this instead. And I just felt like I can't bother to try and go around again and try and get the correct one so I've just left it. I've got a birthday card because it's my dad's birthday on the 16th. Um, I've got beef ragu ravioli because you know me I like to have a lazy quick dinner one time. Um, my favourite Cadbury brunch oats chocolate chip. They are my favourite snack at the moment. Some whole black peppercorns because I actually ran out of them this week. And the last couple of days I've had non-peppered food. I just had to season my food with salt and that's it because I haven't had any pepper. So I've been doing the same with that. 
course we've got some milk and we've got some knickknacks the nice and spicy ones they're my favorite ones and then finally we have bought some croissants i'm gonna have two of them now and then i'll have two of them probably tomorrow and that's my haul it's really small and that is just because i was too scared and and I just gave up and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go home, it's fine, I've got food in the freezer, I've got all the other foods, you know, I probably could have got more salad, that is the aisles that I forgot to go down to, to be honest, I forgot to go down to the salad aisles, which is mad, um, but I guess I can go to Lidl sometime this week and do that in my afternoon walks probably, I'll probably pop in there, maybe I'll even do that tomorrow, I might just walk down to Lidl tomorrow. Um, I'm not going to do that today because I've already been out enough today. Um, but I've got like pasta, I've got quinoa, couscous, rice and stuff. So I've got enough food to go like, you know, alongside the, the, the meat, the fish. Um, it's just like the sadly things that I'm missing this week, unfortunately. Not my best haul, not going to lie. I was just too nervous and anxious and there that I had to leave. 10 out of 10, don't recommend going food shopping on a Saturday, especially on an Easter weekend as well when everyone's on holiday. Um, not ideal, but anyway, um, I'm gonna have a couple of these croissants. I'm actually going to heat them up in the oven and then I'm actually going to um, chill and edit my video for tomorrow. I'm doing the 5,000 questions survey part 27 and I think I'm going to edit it a little bit differently than the previous parts that I have been doing. I'm going to like make like a little bit more effort in it maybe, so I am going to try and do that now. Uh, let's put this stuff away and then uh, get on to whatever my next clip is, so see you in a bit. The world. I mean, there's got to be like in the thickness of the forest, in wherever there's forest, <laughs> or like... It's currently uploading. I've edited the thumbnail as well. It's now 20 to 5, so I think that took me like three hours or something to edit, which was wild. I made myself a cup of tea. I think I'm gonna have a bath, and I think I'm gonna watch Lewis Capaldi's documentary and the Kit Kat bar. I think that's what I'm gonna do. The Masters round two just finished just now. Um. I'm sad because my favourite Justin Thomas did not make it through. So yeah, the Masters round three is just starting now, but round two was finishing this morning because they had a storm yesterday where three trees fell down, which is quite scary. Fortunately, no one was hurt, which is really good news because that could have killed people because how with the force that those trees went down. But we shall see how far they get today because the weather's meant to be quite terrible today as well. But anyway, which. By the way guys, Kit Kats changed their packaging and it's really throwing me off. I haven't bought a Kit Kat in like two years. It's no longer the foil and like the paper thing around it, it's just as plastic. Which I mean it's good because it's recyclable but really threw me off. That's what it is. I'm going to go downstairs and check my post. Do you want to come down with me? I'll bring you, I'll bring you guys. I'll bring you guys down with me and we can check my post box. Let's go. Hmm. 
most of this is spam recipes, recipes, local flyer, spam. I don't know how to stop the spam from being sent to me though. Okay, this is the exciting thing. I actually forgot I ordered this. Um, so, you may notice I'm wearing hooped earrings today. Essentially what's happened is I've, I usually wear stud earrings and I've either lost the stud earrings or they have broken or they make my ears go green. So I was just like Googling and trying to find some good earrings and I found them on this site called Pryor. Um, if I can actually open it, hold on. I'm gonna get some scissors. And this site called Pryor, or Priya. So I got these cute earrings, which have got like a lightning bolt. They are a, um, they're like a hoop some stones here and then it's plain this side and then we've got a little lightning bolt which is really cute and then for like my second piercing I wanted to have like some small hoops because sometimes I just like to just throw on some hoops which I don't own any of so these are the hoops I ended up getting they are Oh, I've only got one out, okay. They are pretty basic. They're just a little round hoop, and that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, I think they're called Huggies or something like that, but that's pretty much what it is. It's just a simple little hoop, which I think would be perfect. So I also bought myself a ring, and that's it. That is my little um, haul. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go for bath and I will see you guys in a little bit. Toodaloo! probably gonna dry really badly like look at this this is just not ideal anyway um the masters the, the third round is now on it started whilst i was in the bath so they only have like two hour breaks with these guys that's probably what i'm going to be doing the rest of this evening i'm probably going to be watching the masters and playing on dreamlight valley Leveling, leveling up Nala, Simba, and all the other things, and doing the star path. I think that's what we'll be doing for us the evening. Yeah, that was a delicious. That's not the right word. <laughs> that was an amazing bath. I'm not going to lie. Um, Lewis Capaldi's documentary is really sad, but really interesting, and it gives you like a real insight. My hair is a hot mess, we're just going to ignore it. I'll probably just put it up in a ponytail. Yeah, that's it. Um, what's going to happen tomorrow? Well, I think I'm meant to be meeting up with my mum, potentially, but uh, I haven't actually heard back from her about what we're going to be doing. I also don't actually know where my phone is, which would be ideal. Um, that is a good question. Where is my phone? Oh, ha, found it. A lot of notifications, but none from the Madre. <laughs>
later. This is what my hair is looking like. This is what I do. This is what happens if I leave my hair to naturally dry. It looks like I have gone through a hedge backwards or that I've been on a roller coaster or some mad thing. Anyway, the masters has been suspended, the golf. So now I don't know what to do. It's quarter past nine. And I was expecting to be watching the masters for a good another like three or four hours. But that ain't happening. I'm just feeling a little bit restless. So I don't quite know what to do now. At a loss. I might try and see if there's like a film to watch or something. You know when you're like set on something happening and you're going to do that thing and then something happens and you don't you're not no, you're no longer doing that thing. So now you're like, well what can I do now? Well you probably know there's like stuff you can actually be getting on and doing that you're just going to put off well I'm feeling like that right now like I don't quite know what do I usually do on a Saturday evening it also feels like a Sunday because um, I've already had two days off work <laughs> uh, I guess I'm going to try and find a film to watch and let's see if I get up to anything tomorrow and if I bring you guys along or not um, I don't think my family are like aware or keen on vlogging do you know, I've had this YouTube account and I've been uploading for so many years but none of my family really appear on my fa on my YouTube. They don't really get it, they don't really understand it, they don't vibe with it. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. We, we, see, we shall see what happens. <laughs> Happy Easter everyone, I think we're having a grand Easter. Uh, I'm not meeting up my family until tomorrow, so today's going to be a pretty chill day. Well, I'd say that. Um, I am meant to be meeting up with my mum at some point to go for a walk. The weather looks nice so it'll be good to get out there just after nine in the morning because apparently I don't know how to do a um, lion these days. I'm always waking up early. So I put up them um, ready. I'm just kind of having breakfast now and then I'm waiting on my mother to wake up and come here, I guess. I don't actually know where we're planning to go for a walk. I don't know if it's gonna be in the city or if we're gonna drive somewhere plan hasn't really been sorted. I'm going to play some Dreamlight Valley whilst I have my breakfast because it's the Easter uh, event happening and there's new things happening every single day so. I will see what I do. I might just film stuff on my phone. Um, I like I like how I'm like 32 years old. I'm still afraid of um, my mum being filmed. I don't think they much like being on the internet like none of my family do and I know I'm like the complete opposite and I love it. I'm gonna go downstairs quickly and get my walking boots from the car because uh, I think I'll need them, so I'm gonna go do that. Walking boots found. Do you know what album I'm obsessed with right now? It's Louis Tomlinson's new one. I'm obsessed with it. It's not even that new anymore, but it's cute. <laughs> Alright, my mum's on her way. She should be here. Uh, in about 10 minutes. So. I'm gonna get 
luktar för svårt ut. Jag bara ska. Exactly. Oh, don't trip. All right, I am now back home. I had a lovely walk with my mother. I did bring out my camera for a little bit of it, but not much. Um, I just felt a little bit like self-conscious bringing it out, so I kind of just did some like b-roll type things. Anyway, we're now back home. Well, I'm back home, and I wanted to show you guys. Okay, I asked for no Easter chocolate this weekend. I asked for none. This is what my mum gave me. I didn't want to have any chocolate eggs this week this year because um, I thought I would be good for once. I just kind of forget to snack on stuff. So um, this is probably going to take me a few months to get through knowing me. But we've got chocolate orange mini eggs, chocolate orange mini eggs, some chocolate orange bars. And some chocolate orange minis, like biscuit things, I think. And yes, my mum knows me too well. She asked us a few weeks ago if we wanted to have chocolate or what we wanted for Christmas for Easter, and I said none. But in the back of my head, I was like, if I if I could have one, if I had to have one, I was like, I'll have a chocolate orange or um like Cadbury's mini eggs but I didn't mention this to her so for her to come here and give me these goods amazing chef's kiss I tried a hot cross bun realized I do not like hot cross buns so um I'm gonna make myself some food or do I have leftovers I think I have leftovers I might have some of my couscous leftovers from last night uh otherwise i think i'm just gonna chill uh i don't think i'm gonna be doing much else today um i think i might watch oh the masters i'm gonna watch the masters can i just show you guys how amazing these mini eggs look i've pretty much finished this whole packet but look These are what they look like. Look at that. They look amazing. I pretty much finished the entire um, packet this afternoon. I'm a little bit tired. That walk earlier really wiped me out. Well, I have no idea why, but I think it's because I wake up early. Tomorrow, as I've mentioned, I'm going to my parents for most of the day, so I might film stuff in the morning because I don't have to be there until like lunchtime so maybe I will film me getting ready in the morning
I need to leave to my parents in about 20 minutes but I am not ready to go I'm gonna do my makeup first before I go but I hope you guys have enjoyed this I have thoroughly enjoyed filming it I tried to to do it a little bit differently I think editing me will know but I don't know at the moment if I'm going to split this into multiple vlogs or just one it kind of just depends how much footage there is on this camera and uh, what I can cramp into one vlog or not but um, I have really enjoyed this four day weekend it's been really chill to be honest it's it's Monday today Monday the I don't know 10th Monday the 10th of April and it is Easter Monday bank holiday Monday so not working again today and I'm meant to be going to my parents now for Easter lunch but I need to get ready before I go but I wanted just to come on here and do some parting words well it's just like a normal weekend for me to be honest it was just over four days rather than two uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it regardless um, and I want to vlog more this year um, obviously it kind of depends when I'm having holidays or if I have a weekend because often working days I can't really vlog much as I'm working. That being said I'm going to go and get ready because I need to leave like now so um, I apologise to my parents for being late. To be fair they said lunch was at half past one so I've got some time. Oh, I've got a little bit of time. I'm just gonna be a little bit late arriving, but it's fine. Um, gone are the days where I'm early to things. I'm more or less like more chillaxed now. I think my anxiety has definitely bettered in that, where I'm not like too nervous about getting places like on time. Uh, I haven't packed, no, I haven't wrapped my dad's present or his birthday card. His birthday's next weekend though, so I don't know if I'm meant to be bringing it this weekend or not because the invitation was Easter lunch and Dad's birthday, but is that really, really what's happening? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna just wait it out and give it to him next weekend and hopefully I will be invited around next weekend. Considering I think they're going on holiday, like the day after. So, hmm, not too sure. 